Welcome back to Extreme One Chunk Iron Man Varlamore Edition. Now, where were we? All right. So there it is. Nope. We got fucking Rocky. Not that one. Twenty crafting. We freaking made it. Close, but nope. Fuck! God damn it. Really? We had to relive that. All right, we're rolling. Three, two, one. Let's go. Aha! There it is. Let's rewind this. Perfect. Last episode, we killed over 4,400 hill giants to look for two items. First, the longbone. All right. Well, I'm not going to get overly excited on this because it's obviously the lower of the two. And secondly, the famous but elusive curved bone. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at this. Sportus receives new collection log item, curved bone. 24th collection item slot. It is there on the ground. Let's go. Which all led up to the moment of us rolling a new chunk, landing us here on the shark infested waters just east of Sunset Coast. Let's take you there and see what it's all about. Well, here we are. We'll start, of course, with a bit of progress. We're at 25 fishing currently. This is pretty much where we ended after the stream. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, though, let's uh, go back, review what tasks we have in this chunk, and then we'll take it from there. See what it takes to get off this beach. All right. There are five tasks that we have to complete to get out of this chunk. The first is cooking. We need to be able to get 80 cooking to be able to cook a raw shark. Second is to get 76 fishing so that we can catch the raw shark. And then we have three big items to get. First, we have the bass. Second is the big swordfish. And of course, the last one is the hardest to get, the one in 5,000 big shark. Well, the tasks don't seem too bad. Also, here's 26 fishing. All right, and we just had a count check. So of course we'll take that, throw it on Hunter, and we're just that much closer. One lamp or one book away from level three Hunter. 27 fishing. Woohoo, 28 fishing. All right, unfortunately I was sick for a while and didn't really record anything, but here we are. This is 39 fishing. All right, so we got a mime random. I'm pretty sure, I don't know why I'm spacing the other way, but I'm, <laughs> what's going on? I'm pretty sure this is like the last one that I need to do for emotes, maybe. And then we should start getting lamps, maybe. We'll find out. I was lying. We got a lamp already. So we'll take this lamp, throw it on Hunter as always. And boom, level three Hunter. Not bad. These are going to start going a little bit quicker now. Actually, like around six or something where you like actually start ramping up. But with this, we're four lamps away or uh, like two or three books. So pretty good. Level 40 fishing. All right, that's 41 fishing. We are five away now. There's the answer to the universe and everything. 43 fishing. We got three more until we can actually start getting bass. I'm doing a bit of multitasking, but we hit 44 fishing and then I got uh, AFK logged. So don't see it in the prompt, but we did get 44. All right. One to go until we can actually start catching bass and go for the big bass. Hey, yo, look what we got. We got a book on Hunter. That's about halfway, I think. Yep. So we are two lamps, book and a lamp, two books... Anything two randoms away now from level four hunter. 46 fishing. We can now catch sea bass and catfish with large net. Obviously the bass is what's actually important. Now we go for the big bass, guys. That's the actual goal. Let's get spooned, huh? Let's get spooned. 47 fishing. I don't know if I had to estimate, probably we got like 50, 60 bass in that level. So if I had to guess, I'm going to say like 55 maybe is, is we'll get it somewhere around 55. We really want it as close to 50 as we can, because then we can switch over to uh, swordfish and start trying to get the big swordfish. So we'll see what happens. Playing a bit AFK on the side. Missed 48. Fishing. Still no sign of the big bass, of course. Keep going. Eventually we'll get it. Didn't miss this one, though. 49 fishing. Well, that was a friendly sight. Count check coming on in. Throw this on Hunter. All right, we're one away. Lamp or book, doesn't matter. If we get a book, we'll probably hold it for a lamp because it'll be better use it for. And the even level 50. Don't know how much bass we've gotten, but I think I've actually underestimated how long this is going to take. It might line up perfectly that we get bass. I mean, obviously we're already at the point where we can get swordfish, but we're probably going to get the large, the big bass. We'll start getting the swordfish. We'll probably get big swordfish and then pretty much transition to shark right away if i had to guess it seems like these rates are just somewhere in that ballpark where it kind of lines up so we'll see if that's true or not 51 fishing 52 fishing oh come on spoon would never miss a level 56 though 
All right, there it is. The first of our big items. That's the big bass. That's much better. Now we at least have one of our five obtained. And that didn't take very long doing swordfish, but there's 57 fishing. Followed by 58. And that's level 59 fishing. One away from that even number 60. We just got out of a maze random. This maze random actually took a really long time. I went AFK during it. Just like a bunch of other stuff. This had to have taken like four hours. I was not... It's not paying attention like at all. Uh, recording video, being outside, whatever. But we've got the random. Uh, we, of course, sat at the chest, got the most items we could. But we'll go back to the bank, drop some stuff off. Uh, looks like we got pretty dry on a bunch of runes. Uh, Air runes is the only one that's a decent. Lots of bronze arrows. But yeah, we'll uh, drop off super quick and see what the total looks like. Also, we got uh, some frog tokens while we were in there. Dang, we got, we got a lot of potions. We got 12 uh, attack and 14 defense. I think before we were hitting like 8, 6, 6 and 6, 8 and 6, something like that. So it looks like we got spooned a bit on potions, which is good. Probably the best thing to get of the things we could. And as far as runes, we got 440 air, 1800 fire. That's a good stack, especially if we need to do super heats or anything later. Uh, Minders, of course severely down on only 250 that's not enough to really train yet so we'll just hold on to them there's no no reason to train yet oh and look at that spinach roll nom 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 and this is where we're gonna end the day but that is 60 fishing i'm chilling because i need to get to 72 anyways to even just start the, the shark so as long as we get it somewhere around 72 and we're not just sitting dry for you know levels and levels and levels I'm not too worried, and I'm kind of just chilling, so. Good night. The whopping 61 coming in. No sign of the big swordfish, but we'll get it eventually. And then we got 11 other levels anyways. Whoop, whoop, 61 fishing. As you can see, we just got a count check. Uh, no surprise here. Going straight on to Hunter. All right, we are now two more randoms away from level 500. Like I said, these these levels are going to start to really uh, come in quickly here. I would love to know what, what level of anything, you know, for this case, right? What level is halfway in the amount of randoms that you need to get to 17? I feel like it's got to be like level eight or something. So we've got to be over most of the hump, to be honest, because you need like just nine alone, I think, to get through level one or something like that. So and most of these levels coming up, we'll just need two. Well, she I think this is kind of spent. I'm at 61 fish. We've got a long way to go until we can even catch sharks. But that's the second big fish gone. I think I'm just going to sit here because it's way more AFK than the big net and i'm gonna bank this right now before i forget completely and drop it 62 fishing 63 fishing good morning good morning it's monday or good evening depending on where you are i guess but that is 64 fishing all right we just got a mime random and that of course got us a lamp so we will throw this on two hunter and that should put us one lamp or book away from level five hunter 65 fishing so we just got a genie we will of course throw this on two hunter and that will give us to level five. Boom, 66 fishing. We've got 10 to go till we can actually move over and start doing these sharks again, or the shark spots again, rather. This is gonna be a while, I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, I'm doing an AFK while I'm editing episode nine. It's gonna take a little while. Oh, and all this stuff in my inventory, like these are junk. We've been getting junk randoms, absolutely junk. And I'll go bank them eventually, I don't know. The RNG might be turning for us. There it is, we got a lamp. Of course, we'll throw that onto Hunter. We're 60 XP away, that means we are one book away or two lamps away. Well, look who showed up, wanted to hang out. Boom, let's go. That puts us one random away from level six. We'll also get pretty far into six. So we'll probably end up being two away from seven after that. And there's 67 fishing, nine to go. I just got back from a beekeeper random. So we have finished the random. We're now just gonna start getting flax. We'll start just holding on to it and back luck and uh banking it also i've started to actually uh kind of break up the grind a little bit i'm just gonna do cooking fishing at the same time kind of a little bit when i'm a little more active it just makes a little bit more sense for the most part i've been fishing at like this spot here and don't have to run from all over there but i just run from here to here cook what i've got drop it on the way back and 
I've never run out of run or anything like that. So um, it's not too bad. It's really not that bad. 68 fishing. This is the first time I've ever had this situation. I came in here, right? We obviously have a Leo random. I came in here. I didn't have to change a single one. I haven't changed a single one. I, of course, I checked pretty much all of them, but I didn't have to. There's the zombie walk though. Uh, we got at least one more. Yep. Okay. So one more emote and then Leo's will start turning into uh, lamps as well. The even level 70 fishing coming in. Six to go. So I've been saving this lamp here until we got a level so I could get them all in the same. But that was 71 fishing. We'll throw the lamp onto Hunter, which also gives us level six Hunter. Wow, 72. Ooh, -wee, 73. It's been a couple days since I did a recording. We just got a count check, though. We will obviously take that, just throw it straight into Hunter. That puts us almost at level seven. One random way. So I got Nerd Timer pretty much the exact second we hit 74 fishing so no prompt unfortunately but typical spoon fashion fishing afk right i did not realize that i just got a second big swordfish that is uh second on the entire grind we are halfway through 74 so RIP to any chunkers that are stuck and got all the way to shark fishing before they got it, but that is the second one. I am fairly certain that's Schmund. I don't know exactly how many swordfish I'm getting because I'm obviously dropping them all. That's definitely got to be Schmund, I would think, so. Fun fact. We got a quiz random. We're going to go through this quiz random, grab a box, and hope we get a lamp. And never lucky. The actual worst. The actual worst reward you could possibly get something that is worth absolutely nothing what a shame one to go 75 fishing coming in one to go unfortunately it's not gonna happen today probably actually won't happen for about a week i am going on some vacation family's got a wedding so i'll be out of town for about a week we're getting close one level to go and then we'll start going on the old sharks over on that side see what we can do oh no guys Oh, we're so in the deep end. Oh, we're going to go so dry on the shark. I can feel it. Oh, man. That's the third one. That's the third big swordfish, dude. I was getting nerd logged, so I quick hopped. And the first fish back was... Oh, I'm so in the deep end. Oh, man. This is... We're in trouble. Just got back from vacation. Uh, just getting back into things, but... Here's a lamp, and of course, we know where it goes. Level 7 Hunter. Not too bad. We're getting there, guys. Also worth noting, probably now, May 15th, there was an update that came through. At least there was a note about it. They changed one of the clue steps, specifically the easy clue steps. If you remember, we had a clue step to go inside the caverns of the Hunter's Guild, which required level 46 Hunter to get in. And we can get those easy clue steps from the uh, wealthy citizens that are in the bazaar. Since that was changed, now I don't know where it takes you, but it says it takes you above ground. So you no longer need the Hunter level requirement. So that means we have easy clues. So if we end up getting some of the chunks next to us, like there's, um, you know, this one, for example, that has Addy or uh, this one that has Mithril or something like that. And those sometimes have like, there's potential for a bronze pickaxe so in the case where we unlock some of those those clue steps will probably be used to try to get like a black pick for example or a magic amulet or a staff of air i think is what's in there um stuff like that and in even like a i think there's a willow shortbow or willow longbow or something that, that definitely opens some possibilities for us for sure all right there it is that is 76 fishing we can now harpoon sharks however i'll do one just just for the heck of it. But we can't cook them yet. So I'm not going to actually start catching to try to get the big shark yet. We'll, we'll grab a full inventory of sharks just to have it in the bank. It's not going to matter. And then I'll run to the bank, empty my full inventory, just bring back all my coins, and we'll just start cooking until we get to, uh, I think it's 80. And then once we can actually start cooking the shark, then we'll just catch, cook, bank, and rinse and repeat. And that's the third one to check off the list. Raw shark achieved. Let's get the next one. That's level 68 cooking that we just got, if I pulled over here, just a second ago. So it's looking like I'm getting 95k XP per hour currently. I've only been going for about 20 minutes, so that might go up a tiny bit. We'll see. As you can see, I'm just buying, starting at the highest XP, and just uh, buying through. And then we world hop and rinse and repeat. Nice. There it is. The last funny number.
of this chunk. Nice easy level 70 coming in. We can make Admiral Pies. Of course, I don't think that'll ever happen. Doing pretty good. We got 10 to go. 71 cooking. We're getting there. Nor Delphi, but... So I just figured I'd take this time to kind of assess what these levels really mean. If any, there's any good milestones coming up. Uh, turns out we'll stop burning lobsters at 74 cooking. And unfortunately, we won't stop burning swordfish until we actually hit the 80 that we need to get to. So not really any milestones until we, until we hit 74 cooking. That'll end the lobster burn. But up until then, I mean, this next couple pretty much mean, mean nothing. So I just finished an inventory of fish. And right when I finished, started dropping them, we got a sergeant random. So that gives us a lamp. We'll throw it onto Hunter. And of course, that will not give us a level. We just hit 72 cooking. Not too bad. We got a couple more in this inventory. We'll keep going. That might be the last level I get today. It is getting a little bit late. I'll, tr I'll try to push for one more, uh, but we'll see. Overall, we're 31%-ish to our cooking goal. And that is since we started uh, doing these fish and stuff. I wasn't sure if I'd get it. There it is. 73. We ended up getting it tonight. That's going to be the last level for sure. Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. We need 103 XP. That's over an hour worth. Unfortunately, I'm going to hit the sack here soon. Uh, just came back from vacation, so I need to get my sleep schedule all straightened out. Made some uh, good progress today between finishing up fishing, got that 76, and then, of course, getting cooking up to 73. I think we started at 65. Good start. We're definitely well on our way. I'm thinking two uh, more days at a minimum, three days more likely, and we'll see where we're at. See if we can't finish this 80 quickly and then get back to fishing and try to get that shark. Oh, I just got on and just actually started doing the first, uh, I think it's actually the second inventory maybe, and didn't realize I just got a level, so I, I must have gotten close last night without realizing it, but that was 74 fishing. 75 cooking means nothing for us. Some GZs, that's about it. Uh, as an update, overall, we need 775,000 left, 775,000 left. And if I'm going maximum efficiency, I'm getting like somewhere between 110 and 120k XP per hour. And I'm watching YouTube videos, so like it's slightly off. I'm like somewhere in between the 95 to 100k right now, which means we've got about eight hours left in this grind. Just finishing up a mime random. And of course, we know what that gets us, a lamp, which we will throw on Hunter and that will give us eight Hunter. Not bad. We love it. We'd love to see it. Love to see it. Just finished a quiz random event, the quiz master, and we got a box, of course, we're hoping for lamps, and who's surprised, because not me. We're actually making kind of quick work right now. Um, that is 76 cooking, which actually is the same level as our fishing. So we, it took us, I don't know, multiple weeks, I think two weeks, something like that, to get to 76 fishing, assuming I didn't take any vacation or whatever, but what, two days, <laughs> three days to get the cooking back up. Of course, we started at 67 cooking, so that's not completely accurate, but it gets the point across. Our XP per hour here is, is pushing like 10x, a little bit less, like 8x what we were getting from fishing. So it's going way quicker. I love it. 77 cooking. That means we've got three. Three to go. Looks like based on the thing I set up, we're about 500 XP or 500k XP away. Uh, I got about 500 today, I think. Can't really remember when we started, but we're doing pretty good. I'm going to charge through as fast as I can, get as far as I can today. And we'll see, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to uh, move on. Look at this. Somebody got scary chunk with the big shark. Uh, I mean, pass it along, buddy. What the heck? Anyways, we're going to finish cooking tomorrow. We'll definitely start trying to catch fish and see if we can get lucky on the big shark as well. All right. Not going to lie. I'm going as fast as I possibly can right now, trying to get through these levels before the end of the night. I have 350k XP to go. 8, 15 in the evening, and I'm averaging about 130 5k xp per hour so i'm really trying to just crush through these but we did just hit uh 78 i pretty much don't do anything except concentrate until i get to the tuna portion of this because there's so much i'm seeing like i just screwed up right there just because there's 10 of them and i could actually sit there for a second but the goal here finish this tonight finish 80 cooking tonight and then just be able to afk sharks all throughout the day tomorrow even if i obviously don't get the shark, which extremely unlikely I'll get it tomorrow. It'll probably take about a week or something if I go on drop rate, but at least then I can actually start on the main task, even though this is also a task, but well, would you look at that? 76 cooking. Everyone knows what that means or one away. I will definitely finish it. You know, I don't know if I want to commit to that. 10 o'clock. I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish this tonight. The end is near. We will finish up this last little bit. Very, very close. Five to go. One more. Boom. 80 cooking. 
That is, can now cook a shark. It's exactly what we needed. Let's go grab the harpoon. I'll probably just do like one inventory and then go to bed because it is past midnight. I shouldn't even do one, but I'm gonna. All right, there's the full inventory I said I'd get. And of course, there's the chunk task. The first shark we tried to cook, we did it successfully. Chunk task complete. We all know what that means. There's only one left. Time to hunt for the big shark. We'll start that tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this inventory, drop it off the bank, and I will log off at the bank. Good night, everybody. I've sat here and debated a couple times now whether I want to bank everything, or perhaps, you know, if I burn half the food, for example, we'll drop all the burn and then pick up more sharks. But unfortunately, with the bass and the swordfish, I didn't actually have the ability to get a large quantity kind of end number of how much did I have to fish before I got the big bass and big swordfish. So in this case, I think regardless of how much I burn, it's going to take a little bit longer, but I'm just curious. I want to know how much shark have I caught? How much did I have to cook before we got the big shark? So I'm going to fill an inventory, cook an inventory, bank an inventory, and it's going to take a long time. For the sake of me, I'm just going to do it. Also, the bank is far enough away that I run out of run. I don't know if that's redundant. There's a better way to say that, but I run out of energy going to the bank and back. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to fill it because it takes 10 and a half minutes from where it is right now. I think I'll probably fill my inventory shark before that, but I'm not completely sure. We might be at an energy deficit as well, which certainly would make this take longer. But I can't drop these the, the cooked shark and I want to know how many burnt shark we get and how, shark total. So I'm going to keep them all. I'll update you either when we get 77 fishing or we get the big shark <laughs> and we'll pretty much just do that every time unless something major uh, comes along the way like a, a lamp or something. And there's the confirmation. We will certainly cook the rest of these before we get to uh, 77 energy or uh, 100 energy from 77. So unfortunately we are at an energy deficit. I didn't even run between fishing spots or anything, for example. So not ideal. It's going to be slow going. That's okay. Do what you gotta do. Just finished an inventory, about to go cook, but we got a mystery box. Might as well open it, see what we get. A cut diamond. That doesn't help us at all. Just finishing up this inventory of shark, and you can see I got two different random events. I didn't realize I've been holding on to this lamp for a while to wait for a recorded clip. I must have done a couple uh, runs to the bank and back, just not realizing it. Of course, we put the lamp on nowhere other than Hunter, and what are we, about halfway? Yep, about a halfway to nine. Also, we got a kebab, but we'll start the bank. Well, I was going to wait until I hit the next fishing level because I'm getting close. Only a couple thousand XP away, but when it comes to shark, that's generally a while. But we just got another genie, so that's the second genie today. That put that on a hunter that will give us level 9 hunter. We can now do a, f a bird that we will never see. As I mentioned, it was going to take a while. It took almost an entire other inventory, but we just got 77 fishing. Yet another level while we're doing this. 81 cooking coming in. Look what we just finished. Yet another lamp. Hunter, that puts us a little less than halfway. We're looking for a book on the next one. Book would be ideal. Ask and you shall receive. Book of knowledge. Throw it onto Hunter, of course. Level 10. Or more than... Well, actually, this is exactly halfway, I think, to uh, 17. I don't, I don't know if it exactly lines up, but close-ish. So, we're getting there. So, I just waited to finish off this inventory as I walked to the bank, but we did get a lamp. We'll take that lamp, throw it onto Hunter, and what does that give us? About halfway? Yeah, actually, a little past, so that's nice. A bit of progress into level 11. Just finished the quiz master. We'll open it, and let's say it all together. Never lucky. Still no big shark. We did get 78 cooking. And another mystery box. Let's see. Nice. And there's 82 cooking. Just finishing an inventory, and we got a genie. Throw it, of course, onto Hunter, and that should give us a level, if I think. There it is. 11. Not too bad. We're a far ways away from 12, so we'll be two randoms away regardless of what we get. Certainly making great progress towards that 17 that we'll need for a pure, pure chunk if we, I don't know, ever get to roll again. Just finished a Leo random, and we just got... Oh, we just got the zombie dance. I believe that's the last for the Leo randoms that we were waiting on. I believe all Leo randoms will now also be lamps. I haven't done a single update total for the amount of shark we've caught so far. So let's just keep this rolling and we'll check the bank real quick. All right. So we have about 2350 uh, cooked and about 860 burnt. I would say add an extra 10 uh, for ones that I've dropped due to randoms or any multitude of issues but or uh, reasons but whatever that is somewhere around like 3200 ish shark so we're past halfway i'm totally okay with going dry here we need extra food in the long run anyways um but yeah back to it right this may not be the update we all wanted but it's the update 
we get. Just about to pass the 3500 shark mark. That's a tongue twister. No big shark, obviously. We did get a lamp. It was a count check. Throw that onto Hunter. It does not also give us a level. You're welcome for the useless update. All right. I've been out and about and doing a bunch of things, so I've kind of just been AFKing, but we've got a couple of stockpiled things here. First, one lamp. We'll throw that on, obviously, to Hunter. That gets us to 12. We'll follow up with the second one. Gets us 60% uh, through, and then, of course, we'll open this. <laughs> okay. Can't, can't screw up that. <laughs> Can't script that. <laughs> oh, let's go. 1300. We'll dig it. Thank you very much. We can get desert devils, which we'll never see. All right. It's been a minute since we've done a complete update on our shark total. As you can see here, we're at 3,891 cooked shark and 1,351 burnt shark. Uh, probably add another 10 in there because of miscellaneous random events that I've had to drop for rewards. But that puts us at 5252 sh uh, sharks, so 5,252, which means we're officially over the drop rate, and we've been over the drop rate for about 200, which is almost uh, 10 inventories. Now the hunt begins to get the shark over drop rate, and we'll see how long we're over drop rate. Also, update, I'm pretty sure I missed 79 fishing and 83 cooking. I think I was on mobile a while back, and then just completely forgotten. Never updated, but this is what the stats look like, uh, 771 total with uh, just over 14 mil of XP on the account. Not too bad. And playtime, we are at 25 days, 9 hours. Back to it. Yet another 80. Fishing. Woo! To be honest, I have no clue why I've started to hold on to these. Let's just use them. Uh, the combination of the both of them will get us 14 Hunter. Onward. Anytime I'm out there, I try to just save these mystery boxes until we get back. But let's open it. Nice. Freaking sweet. That's our second one. We got a lamp. Of course, we're going to throw this onto Hunter. Fortunately, it's not enough to get us a level. However, we're getting close. Also, we're just getting close in general to finishing the lamp that we're the, the lamping progress that we're doing on Hunter, which means we're going to need something else to lamp. And to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm going to lamp yet. Like, I have zero clue. Can't do rune crafting, which would be one that I'd probably do for Camp Therum, but we can't because we don't have rune mysteries. Can't do herb lore because we don't have druidic ritual. So that kind of like leaves me in the middle of nowhere, you know? I'm not completely sure what I want to start lamping. Uh, one thing, maybe farming? I don't know. Probably Slayer. Let's be real. Probably Slayer. All right. Well, we're just running back for the next load. We actually just got a uh, mystery box. Let's see what's in it. Hey, a casket. This is going to give us nothing good. Yeah, 640 coins. Better than zero coins, I guess. We'll drop it off over here. Been holding on to these for a little while, and I'm not really sure why. It just seems to be a trend. But we've got two lamps. We'll throw them in. That'll get us another level. One away from the goal. I've been holding on to the lamp for a while. So we'll throw it, of course, just straight into Hunter. And then we've got a quiz random, or a, uh, whatever, book of knowledge that we just got recently. We'll throw that also in, which will get us to 17. That's the last bit of Hunter that we needed until we can do baby inklings right here in Pure Pure. So we will figure out what the heck we're going to lamp next. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. I was, I'm not kidding. I was just working, doing some things, looked over on my screen, and I saw the big shark in my inventory. Holy crap. That's, that's it. Guys, that was, it. that's, that's chunk complete. That was the last task. Oh my goodness. Okay, before I do this, I'm going to drop it, uh, cook the inventory, pick it up, we'll go back to the bank. Let's, uh, let's get into rolling the next one. Oh my goodness. I'm lost for words, guys. That's, let's go. Uh, oh, let's do an update in real time. So that was exactly 9,060 banked sharks to get this uh, big shark, which means we probably have like another, I don't know, like 20, 25 between dropping some burnt sharks. So we could pick up like random events and some other things here and there. Oh my goodness, that was, let's go, let's go, let's freaking go. All right, now that we've finished all of our tasks, we could check off the last one we had for the big shark, and then let's start going through all these chunks and understand really what's uh, potentially ahead of us with these rolls. All right, chunk number one. It's got the crown because it's been the one we've tried to get for a very, very long time, primarily because it has a shop in it. 
sword shop specifically is what it shows as, but it's really a blacksmith shop that has both armor and weapons up to the Addy tier, except for the helmet and shields. But this would certainly be one of the most ideal. It would be extremely quick tasks, but also we'd be able to get some good upgrades. All right, chunk two. This one's a bit complex. It does say no tasks. However, that's because farming is passive for us. That means that we won't directly get a task for farming unless we had tithe farm. However, farming can create tasks. So in this case, we'd have farming, and once we get farming to, I think it's like 40 or something in that ballpark, we'll be able to make the entirety of the summer pie. And that summer pie, of course, requires 95 cooking. All right, uh, so chunk three, I believe is free for now. Yeah, it's free for now. Also, benefit to three, actually hidden benefit. It's got ember-tailed jerboas. That's what this little farm, uh, hunter spot is, which means we can go straight from Jerboas down here to the pyre foxes, which I think is like 40 something. Let's see, 57. So quick update. I've got 17 hunter. We've just lamped it today. So if we get six, we'll get Puro Puro. We'll go Puro Puro to hunter 46, which will unlock 46 or like access to the hunter's guild. And then at 57, we can actually do the pyre foxes like consistently to get hunter xp which will be probably faster than pure pure i would think the end goal hunter guild has 91 hunter because of moonlight antelopes that are in there so we have a, a lot of hunter um grinds to do but if we get the jerboa that means we don't need to pure pure to 57 that means we just have to do it until 46 so that potentially would save us a bunch of junk pure pure early on so 10's 10's an interesting one we're gonna go uh by the way counterclockwise because screw number order and make everybody upset 10's a rough one because there's an unhidden or there's a hidden thing here that you don't see until you open this item spawn actually it's not even, why isn't it listed here weird there's a um, I'll have to look into it, but there is a spawn for a bronze pickaxe. We have two chunks very close to us. That would be the Stonecutter Outpost and this one towards Camp Tarum, which both have Mithril down on, at the Stonecutter and then Addy or at the West one. So that would mean bronze pick all the way through there. So 10's kind of eh, right? It obviously gives us Helmet Shop, I think is what this was. Yeah. Uh, Addy Full and Addy Med. Super easy to get. We've got like one point something mil or something like that like we've got the coins that'll be grab it and then roll again right away so nine is essentially a freebie but again gives us a pick and that gets us closer to hell essentially like just not gonna be fun so yeah eight essentially free for now it will be an agility course probably in the next update or like the next couple updates of varlamore so that will have like a hidden agility uh kind of like milestone that we'll have to hit seven is probably one of the hidden gems that i actually really want Seven has what a lot of people call the best quest in Varlamore, which is like the frog quest. That's what everyone calls it. I've not done a quest yet on this account. I mean, obviously, except for the one to get into Varlamore. Would really, really love to be able to get this chunk to be able to do that. Also, this gives us teak logs, which doesn't give us any wood cutting or fletching or anything, obviously, but it does give us wood cutting. We're at, or uh, sorry, fire making. We're at fire making 15, so we'd have to get to 35 to be able to fire make teak. Also, wouldn't take very long. If we got this one, I'd probably do it overnight and we'd do another chunk roll uh, stream tomorrow. That'd be the goal. Six is going to introduce a lot. Yeah, this is going to suck, guys. I'm not going to lie. Although it's going to suck, but I willingly put myself into it. This starts a massive list of tasks, some of which are really easy, like getting a battle staff, which is just a drop from one of the implings, like super easy. But some of the other ones are not as easy, which is like going after the moonlight antelope because we need 91, uh, 91 hunter. Sorry. Also like dragonstone bolts to wield that that's that's gonna be a lot too uh getting casting things def won't necessarily count actually i don't know actually i think it will either way it's really high fletching for dragon dart that's like 95 i think 91 hunter uh definitely would have like magic logs i'd have to do fletching to get uh msb because i have i think i have bowstring uh a bunch of other stuff like obviously getting just a buttload of bis everything but I'm, I'm at the point where the benefits are just so high that i can't avoid but either way a bunch of grinds a ton of stuff but it's so worth it and the end goal really is moonlight mixes 
Moonlight Mixes is basically like a poor man's prayer pot. It's a two dose, like slightly worse prayer pot, I think 15 prayer or something like that. That is like a necessity to try to go after the Coliseum eventually. And just like in general, obviously it's really good. I don't have any magic staff, like just getting a battle staff in general to be able to auto cast would be like massive. I'd love it. So six is really good. It's going to be a heck of a grind. It's going to take a long time, but there is still a crown there because there's just so much benefit to it. Five has a fire making uh, grind, the most notable. And that is because of the U tree, which I think is like this tree right here. It also has a little bit of fletching to get to the U shield and then wood cutting, which I think we already have the wood cutting level to chop that. So that would be a grind. Also, it's not shown here because the charter ship trade person or whatever is like one tile or two tiles north of this but they do wander into this chunk. So I would have to do the traders, the, I don't know what they're called, just trade masters or something, whatever they are. The crew that's just from the charter ships that sell the sand and everything, the soda ash and whatever. So we will have to do, I think it's 85 or 87 crafting because we'll get the furnace. So that will also be a task that's like not shown here, but I feel like just the integrity of the account, that's kind of something you have to do. Okay, and then four. Four is an interesting one where it doesn't have a task. However, it gives us a clue step in the Grand Museum. Unfortunately, it's a clue step we'll never be able to do because we need something from Grand Tree, but it's cool just to say we got one step closer. It has a direct link through the Quetzal to East uh, Varrock. So that's all of it, right? That's that's all that we have. Let's do it. Let's get like six in a row. Let's roll some freebies. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Let's go. Uh, it happened. Oh my goodness. It happened. Oh my gosh. It happened, guys. Let's go. It's been so long. All right, let's grab our money. Let's grab our coins. Oh, let's grab Rocky too. Why not, right? Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get armor. I'm gonna get armor. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Rigged, spooned, yep. It is a free roll, yeah. We'll roll again here in just a second. We gotta buy everything first though. All right, as we walk over to our chunk, we gotta look at our tasks. The first is 60 defense to wield Addy. Second is 60 attack to wield Addy swords or, or weaponry. And then there's four equipment we need to get, Addy Body, Addy Simi, Addy Long, and then Addy Legs. All right, let's, I mean, the first, I've been waiting so long, I don't care. I'm just, I'm buying it all. I'm buying one of everything. Doesn't even matter to me. I've been waiting way too long for this. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I'm so excited, you guys have no idea. Oh, that was like actually massive. My best, my best in slot chest before this, steel. Best legs was like a robe legs, like a black robes or something. Didn't do anything. And then I had a myth sim before this. So this quite literally we upgraded on every single slot. It's huge. So that doesn't add any more here. We already had the museum open. Obviously can't go across the water. So that again, just adds this one, which will have fire making. Yep. Fire making and uh, the fletching for the shield we already have, so that'll be done quick. Let's do it. Here goes nothing. Please be good again, huh? Another freebie. Come on, give me another freebie. Uh, okay, it's free for now. Okay, it's free for now. Oh, it gets us really close. Oh, boy, it's getting scary, guys. It's getting scary. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's another free. All right, that's it. That's the chunk. That's quite literally everything, I think. There's nothing else here. All right, so that added 10. Uh, 10 has no tasks immediately, I believe. Yeah, none of, uh, immediately. However, there's Addy Ore in there. And Addy Ore scares me, I'm not gonna lie. Addy Ore scares me like a lot. All right, so that doesn't really give us anything, but obviously, oh wait, there's a Salam, isn't there like a Salamander here that's a weapon or something? What is that? I'm gonna look on the... Yeah, Teku Salamander, which is 79 Hunter, which I think has a one in a thousand chance to get the weapon, right? Which means I'll have to do that. I don't, can you like, I wonder if I can get by in this like one or two tile area. 92 Hunter. I don't think it's 92 Hunter. Uh, the map says 79. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. 
Give me another freebie, huh? I love this freebie stuff. Yes! Let's go. Oh, this is horrible. No, it just sunk in. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. That's gonna stink. So this has uh, sand crabs. Sand crabs for AFK, that's fair. But also gives me a pickaxe, which now means... If we rolled what was 10, it's now 9 because we got a freebie here. The Addy or spawn or whatever, or the Addy or mine. That means we need to go all the way because that has, uh, let's check it. I think that has copper and stuff in it. Yeah, copper, tin, and iron. So we'd have to go all the way with it. That makes that a very deadly chunk now. It went from not being that bad to being very deadly. All right. We, by the way, we lost one, so the odds to roll good chunks increased, but also the odds to roll bad ones increased. That's a, that's a, that's right. That's what I'm saying. If I do, I gotta do farming anyways, because I'm gonna have to do the cooking grind. Might as well do pure, uh, pure pure, pure real estate. Let's go. Come on, give me pure pure. I can't believe I'm saying that right now. Give me pure pure. Okay, you know what? I am so happy with that. Also hate that because now we're really close to this one too. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Okay, we're good to do a quest though. Uh, I don't know if I need anything. I don't know if I need inventory space, but we're just going to try to go straight into the quest right now. I don't fall for your lies. You explain, maybe I can help you. All the frogs are out to get them. I love this. Someone doesn't kill them all, be living their lives as their slaves. <laughs> okay, dude. How about I head over there and take a look? You wanna go near them? Dude, it's blasphemous. Stay at a safe distance. They're like the uh tree frogs from like the Amazon and stuff. Maybe they actually will kill you. Hang on, can we talk? Well, of course we can talk, silly. Never considered it. You've never considered it. Okay, dude. I've had like 15 random events of frogs that I've had to talk to and kiss. What? Never thought about it. Okay, Jagex, come on. Over there are Dave and Jane. <laughs> okay. I love how they use the most basic American names. It's been so long that I've gone and totally forgotten. Hey, Gary, why are we on strike? No idea. I've been on strike my whole life. <laughs> Just like my pa and his pa before. At this point, it's kind of a family tradition. It's like going and getting, like, pizza on Thanksgiving or something for people. <laughs> like, yeah, we just do it because, I don't know, we did it. Gary here had one as a pet. What the heck, Gary? Second class citizens for too long. The revolution starts today. Wait, what about peace? Peace, interesting. I suppose peace could be fun. <laughs> Let's go see. What are the terms? That's unexpected. They're open to engaging in peace talk. <laughs> After everything they've done. Look, I can't. <laughs> Must have done something. Must have taken my brain. Okay. Dude, dude's like, what's the straw man in the uh, Wizard of Oz now? Where he has no brain? If I only had a brain. I'll go tell them I'll negotiate with their leader. Now uh, we're all about collective leadership. We did consider starting a union at one point, but Dave messed up the paperwork. There would need to be an election, of course. Do you have a process for that sort of thing? Absolutely. Perform their finest hop and everyone else votes on which one thought was the best. If you learn about the election, he'll most definitely want to put himself forward. Okay, so we gotta find this Cuthbert, guys. The idea of rigging an election is one that fills my democracy-loving heart with terror, but yes. We will need it. Great. I guess sabotage the lily pad. Okay, so do I need to cut a lily pad or something then? The heck they want me to do? I need to find Cuthbert? So you want me to get an orange from the tree sitting right next to you? Look, oranges. You're welcome. Barely noticeable hole. All right. Let's go tell Sue. Ooh, cutscenes. The frog hop off. Stakes are high on this one. Indeed, the future of our entire world. Maybe a steak. All right, let's see what Sue's got. Easy peasy. Before it's gonna fall. Hey, lol. Get rigged, loser. Well, he's dead. Wait, what? Never learned to swear they're murderers. We just murdered a frog. Thinks you <laughs> don't have his brain. No shit, you don't have his brain. 
Let's tell him if he pays him oranges, they'll be good to go. We found the leader of the frogs. We have. We kill the flies around the oasis, and in return, you pay them in oranges. <laughs> Bro, now he's just, now we're just planting our truth on everything. Two hours later. Let him cook, okay? Let him cook. Oh, I gotta put it in the poop or something, yeah? Listen, I got there, okay, Chance? Small brain did small different things, okay? We did it. Fuck him up, yo. <laughs> the Lord of the Dude literally just walked. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, I put the extreme gnome in the poop where he belongs. Hello. Terms have been accepted. Peace at last. <laughs> He's now properly dead. There it is! Finished our first quest, and probably the first quest, or the uh, only quest for a long time. So I think some of the other ones that are close to us are kind of eh. Now we have access to that hardwood patch. We have one quest point to add to our other one quest point. And some wood cutting. Not bad. There it is. Quest complete. The first one on the account. Of course, that means we've finished the first of our four chunk tasks. Let's start doing some fire making and make progress towards that one next. There's level nine farming. It also turns out level nine was exactly what we needed to start doing herbs. So we can use all four of our allotment or all four of our patches, whatever you want to call them. And we will I quickly ran back to the bank to actually grab pineapples because I forgot you can't unnote. You can only note. Um, but we'll fill the compost bin and then plant to... Uh, our first guam there's 28 fire making just a couple more for our chunk task and there's level 29 the round level 30 coming in level 31 four to go and level 10 farming and of course i admit well look at this timing perfect for post pete i'm not feeling it get out of here man go bug someone else that cares did just get another level though that's 11 and we're just now planting pretty much everything we're all set wait for this to go i think these herbs got another like 30 minutes or so Come back uh, in a little while. And as you can see, we just hit 32 fire making. Making quick work with the fire making. Uh, we'll be done with it pretty quickly. I think what I'm going to do in the meantime when I wait for Chunk Roll Stream later is actually just run through and just start picking up more potatoes maybe. Or start cooking some potatoes or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. 33 fire making. There's just two to go in this chunk. All right. Second to last level. 34 fire making coming in. We have just one more to go until we're done fire making and we can do our teak log. All right, so it's come to my attention. I don't know what I'm going to do with these lamps, but despite not knowing what I'm going to do with the lamps in the future, I'm just going to throw them on agility for now to open up the inventory space because I want to just start churning milk and I don't want to have the lamps taking up inventory space. So we're just going to start churning milk while we wait uh, for tonight's chunk roll. And we just got a genie. So we will just quickly throw that also onto agility. That's about half. What a day. What a day. What a day. Another lamp. Throw it on agility. And again, one step closer. We're four away. Four lamps. And then we'll have level two. Man, we are just getting absolutely spooned with the lamps today. Throw another one into the agility. All right. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to... Everyone knows the first level is the worst one to get through when it comes to lamping. We're getting closer to that level, though. And then it's... It'll start picking up. I don't remember the tiers, but I want to say it's every nine levels. So nine, 18 or something like that. Or maybe it's eight levels and nine, 17. I don't know, whatever it is. But I think we'll lamp it maybe not just the first tier, but like second or third tier of benefit. Because especially if we get pure, pure, we're going to be running around a lot. So having a little bit of run energy boost uh, better than at least level one would certainly help us. So also, I think there's a shortcut. So if we get fishing trawler, we're not terribly far from Yanil and there is that wall at 16. So that that is certainly a possibility. That's probably the closest and lowest level shortcut that we could get. Aside from the one that's obviously on our island, but that's like 47. So we're a long ways away from there. I definitely have missed a couple levels here, but I actually just got one. So that reminded me, but whatever it is, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know where I missed it, but uh, let's just logically get up to speed. We are 18 farming now. Trying to do these semi-efficiently. Uh, our herbs are dying every once in a while, which is kind of a uh, 
upsetting, but that's just the way it goes. It's looking like we're going to get to 31 fairly quickly here, and I'm even only doing potatoes still just because of what we have and kind of like I just need potatoes in general as well. I need to buy this, and I don't have any coins. Fun. Just do this. We'll light the last log, or we won't. We get the last log for 35, and then we'll obviously do the teak, which was the chunk task. Voila. And then we can just go right ahead and shift over to this. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to do. So we got fire making teak logs. Obviously, wood cutting. We chopped the, the teak log easy. Let's run back up. I forgot to do... When we rolled yesterday and we rolled the sword shop or whatever, forgot to... Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Uh, we forgot to get the death's office angel coffin thing. So we'll go buy that real quick. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. Here we go. 200k. I understand. I'll do it anyways. Boom. All right. Now we can go back. Uh, 10, I believe, is also free. It does have a Quetzal transportation thing on it, though we'll probably never get the rumors to be able to unlock that. Nine is the second of the two mining ones. This has Shooting Star in it. It also has 99 construction backlog on it because of, uh, I can't remember the item that's sold in like this little tiny uh, construction shop. So that's kind of like a death chunk too, or at least a, a death chunk on a timer. Let's roll it, let's see what happens. Please be good. Okay, free chunk, free chunk. Completely free chunk, not a single task to do. We will walk here just because we should walk and, and check it out. But it is a completely free chunk. As someone just stated, this is not the bandits chunk. However, we do have the bandits coming into our chunk, which means this is actually like really good. This is actually really, really good. Uh, the reason this is really good is because they drop steel pickaxes. Steel pickaxe, one and one, two, eight. That means we don't need the iron pick anymore. We can voluntarily get a steel pick, which is actually huge. That's actually going to save us a ton. None of the other drops actually matter, but steel pick is really good. On the chunker, right? This obviously has a smiley face because of the, if it shows, steel pickaxe that you can get here from those bandits. This is now also a free chunk. Okay, so there's the emerald, so it's on the other side. However, there, we're getting closer to this area. Now, this area has two things. One, it has a magic tree, which of course doesn't actually help us much, although it gives us a magic shield, so that's cool. But the staff, there's a staff spawn in this chunk that not many people can see. If we somehow can roll up and through this river, to get a staff would be legendary like absolutely legendary so i don't need to dwell on this we're just gonna we're just gonna click it we're going for it right away that was a good freebie getting a steel pick actually makes me feel better about any of these other ones if we get them okay there's another freebie another freebie doesn't actually matter for the uh frowny face because it has an iron pick but we already have a steel so that doesn't really matter let the free chunks continue guys let the free chunks continue. Alright, let's go take a look. Now I feel like I've got everything but the remains down here. Might actually... I don't, I don't think we'll need them, but at least we have arrows. And this is... I don't know, is this better than... Knife? Uh, iron knives? Because we have an iron knife spawn. I don't know what's better. What's worse? Alright, let's hang out the scorpions roll again. New chunk. It unlocked a new chunk, a rollable chunk at least. That is this chunk, which again has nothing on it, but it does have another altar. I don't think it helps us. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever... Maybe if I want to train at the Harpies because they're multi. Knives are faster, yeah, but I could get nine per world here versus only two in the Iron Knives. Let's roll it. Enough lollygagging. Ah! There it is. 
First and foremost, I want to thank everybody again for sticking tuned, watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Sorry it's been such a long time since the last one, but as you could tell, the shark grind took a while. So we were adamant about it, finished it up, and of course we were rewarded with a couple of free chunks on our way to our current chunk. You'll have to uh, stick around and find out what that chunk actually is. Of course, before we end it, we got to give respect to where respect is due. Tony Turbo 78 the only member of the Golden Rocky tier. Really, really greatly appreciate you supporting the uh, entirety of the YouTube channel and, of course, being one of my longtime supporters for uh, many years. Um, then we go into the Rocky tier. We have Diggy Dog SP, Mark RS, and Potato Man. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are absolute legends. And until next time, see you later. In the lands of Gilinor. There lies a mystic place Far the more where heroes roam with courage and grace Sportus and adventurer with dreams so grand and vast He sets out on a journey to conquer till the very last One step at a time through the forests and the plains Sportus seeks his glory with resilience in his veins. With sword in hand, he battles all that stands in his way. Conquering Baltimore will surely seize the day. Oh, Sportus, the conqueror of Baltimore's embrace, your spirit shines so brightly. Through each challenge you face With every step you take You leave your mark behind Conquering the continent One chunk at a time